Hey everybody, Coach Eric Orton here behind the camera and I'm in downtown Jackson with Meredith Edwards aka Mayor June and we're going to talk about fear today. Um, in one of the chapters of my book I've really devoted the whole chapter to talking about fear and the fear of the unknown and I've got Meredith here to um, discuss fear. Um, so Meredith is a professional mountain endurance athlete and Meredith what is that <laughs> well I don't define myself as just an ultra runner um, or just a I guess just a skier I compete both in ultra running and then I've competed for five years on the U.S. ski mountaineering team and then aside from that I also um, have getting more into ski mountaineering um, in the backcountry and and you know what everything that comes with that so so I, with yeah. that though for those who don't really have an understanding of what ski mountaineering is could you maybe just give a little example of some of the ski lines you've done here in, in, in Jackson and the Tetons yeah I think um, one of the bigger ones is obviously like going to ski the Grand Teton um, you know it's it's and why why is that su such an impressive line? I mean, what I mean, this is not skiing inbounds at your nope. local. Yeah, it's, you know, so it's out of bounds. Paint the, paint the picture. It's out of bounds. It's a it's a really long day as far as it's you know you got to get yourself up and you got to get be able to ski down. So you're going up seven thousand feet in vertical and then you're skiing down um, a really big committing ski line that is steep, um, technical as far as um, ice in it. There's climbing, ice climbing involved in it. Um, no fall zones, meaning if you fall, you you can yeah. game over. Yeah. <laughs> um, it just also depends on conditions. Some people get it in really great conditions. Some people get it in really bad conditions. And so, yeah, it's it's not like you're going to go ski at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort. Um, you're in the backcountry. Um, you are dependent on your partners. And um, for someone like me who's just getting into it, you know, I'm, I'm trying to learn the skills from other people. And so um, gotcha. but there's just a lot more involved, a lot of uh, thinking involved and, and things like that. So where, where I want to go with this is that there's really kind of a separation between what we might consider physical fear of no fall zone. Hey, you, you, just, you just can't fall here or you're going to die versus maybe the fear of the unknown that may be more common to the audience here of, of, of running, of, of picking a big yeah. goal and that fear of, okay, if, if I choose something really, really big, like go into UTMB or yep. TDS or something, something big, you know, there's always going to be the unknown and yeah. how, how, do, how do you separate the two and how do you deal with both of those? Um, yeah, they're both very different for me. Um, the fear that I feel in the mountains is, um, I get scared, um, and I'm able to just really focus and, and take it literally one second at a time, one step at a time, and, and just, you kind of get in this zone. Um, I can't really describe it, but when I'm really, really scared, and that's happened a lot, <laughs> um, I just go somewhere because I have to, it's a survival Right. Because if I don't, then the consequence could be really bad. And so there's no freak out. There's no like, oh, my gosh, it's just like, okay, I just got to get it done. Like there's no other option really right. for me. But when it comes to like training for like UTMB, the fear is I feel that the most. And, I, and it's my it's very uncomfortable for me. I, I think I deal better with fear in the mountains than I do when it comes to signing up for a race or starting to prepare for a race because I'm not in control of it. Like in the mountains, like I'm in control and it's up to me to get through where I need to do. And I guess and when, when you say you're not under control in a race, you mean you're not, you're not in control of people showing up. Who, I'm not who in, toes I'm the not, line, right? It's like, I'm not in control of who's going to show up. I'm not in control of what the weather is going to be like. I'm not in control necessarily what my body's going to, you know, decide right. to feel like that day. Like right. there's, there's so many there's just so many factors that go into a really big race and, and it's super nerve wracking for me. And it's something that I know as an athlete, like I really need to, to get better at if I want to keep competing at that high of a level because it does affect performance and it does 
make things, you know, it's a challenge. It's just a right. really big challenge. You know, going to TDS, there wasn't many expectations because other than I wanted to be a top five and, and I believed that I could do that. And so when I went over there and that happened, it was like, wow, that was really awesome. But then this year going back to UTMB and having the expectation of like, okay, well, you know, I was 10th at CCC. I was second at TDS this year. I want to be top 10 too, you know, and that expectation was, was really hard. And but how do you, how do you, you know, again, knowing a lot about the process and knowing how hard you work, you know, that, I, th I think where people can really relate is m stepping way back to the point where you decided to go to UTMB yeah. and make that commitment. And there, there's a lot of unknown that I think is normal. Yeah. And where we, we've been conditioned to think that we should be fearless. And I think it's just the opposite. You put yourself out there and how, how do you do that? Well, I think, I think if you want, yeah, I don't know. So I used to really struggle with that as a younger athlete, but I realized that if I want to get better, the only way to get better is to put yourself completely out there. I spent Bingo. I spent a year racing World Cup for ski mountaineering over in Europe, and it was so hard. I probably cried every day <laughs> because I got my I got my butt kicked every single race, and and I I went in with that expectation knowing it, but I allowed myself to to just be ripped apart and I allowed myself to just go experience it and ultimately I think when I, I uh, came back from that race it's really when I started to do really well in running and when I started to like put a focus on building up to something like UTMB and so that one year of maybe you know putting myself out there and maybe knowing that I don't totally belong on that level but allowing myself to just go with it was more of a building block than anything else I've ever done and so it, the three years that followed after that I made leaps and bounds as an athlete and I think this year you know going to UTMB putting myself out on the line like yeah I came back with maybe a result I didn't want but because I just put it I, you know I put it out there and I went for it I think the benefits that I will you know reap in the next year right. or two are going to be right. it's it's you go through these growing phases in these cycles and sometimes you know as an athlete we need to just accept that that's just where we're at right, right. now and there's nothing wrong with that it's but it's really hard sometimes to have an acceptance and understand that not every year is going to be great right you know i just had great, three great years like you know i'm, I'm you know I'm well do. you still did awesome i still did yeah, <laughs> yeah. i mean yeah. i guess so I guess with so, that but, though if in, in closing Speaking to our audience, how would you suggest that maybe that, that runner out there that's looking to put themselves in a situation you did the past three years, what, what could be one way they could do that? I, 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 think, I think sometimes we have to set goals, but then we have to set the smaller goals to, to achieve exactly. the bigger goals. And, and, and sometimes we think, oh, well, it's like one, two, I'm there. But really it's like... You know, it's always a process. It's a big process, and there's lots of little micro goals that need to be reached. And sometimes it's, you know, doing a distance we're not comfortable with, or sometimes it's, you know, going to a race where we know there's more competition and we know we're not going to do well. But but when you allow yourself to to go with a bigger group of people, like you have no other choice but to like rise up. Right. right. And that can be scary, but at the end of the day, it's it's the best thing you can possibly do. Exactly. We should be scared. Yeah, we should I be mean, fair for yeah, yeah. And, I, and, 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 and you know, if you're not scared, then at that point, yeah. I kind of want to be like, well, do you really care yeah. about it? You know what I mean? Exactly. If you're not nervous towing the line, exactly. then like, yeah. you know, maybe you're just yeah. not really into it. There's like a certain amount of good nerves and a certain amount yeah. of bad nerves, but you know, it, it just yeah. goes to show that you care, but it's just, it's small building blocks over a big period of time. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bring on Colorado. <laughs> See ya. Thank you. Yep.